And now that we have the fail out of the way, let's show you the success. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Front Mission DS, the OCU campaign. And we are completely surrounded. According to the census anyway, we're completely surrounded. We don't, but there's nothing to see here, it seems. Okay, never mind. There they are. We are surrounded. And I am your up here for today, capital G. And this ain't looking good. Let's start these wazers up. And take on these total dicks, to be honest with you. No, because here's my fail. Let me explain that. Let me explain what happened to that fail. They went right after Roid in the first round. Uh, they all have they all have really really fast legs. They're all very mobile in the sand, and so they all ganged up on Roid right away. So Roid suit is awesome, but when you get attacked six seven times, especially by dudes that look like aliens like that in one round, of course you're gonna lose your suit. But as it turns out, losing Roid, Roid only is enough to game over, even if you have everybody else. So, off screen, I equipped Roid with a shield in case uh, the missiles come his way again. That should buy him some valuable time if it uh, if we have a repeat. In the meantime, I'm gonna try and take out at least one of these guys. Everybody here is equipped with rockets and whatnot to uh, make up for the uh, difficulties in the sand. And most of us, most of them have uh, are equipped with wheels or hovers that are moving across the sand, no problem. I look at Frederick, he can go wherever he wants. Also, to ensure we don't have a repeat, let's toss the chap onto Roid. Because I don't want one of those instant game overs again. It's a waste of time when that happens, let me tell you. And let's see, can we get him? He's got three hit points, four hit points. Oh no! Should have taken him out, but it didn't. It didn't. Oh, nice level up for Bobby there, but... Oh no! Bobby's being targeted. Not good. Not good. I don't have a way to defend Bobby, per se. So this is the hope he stands, he, uh, stands tall. But as you can see, what's happening to Bobby right now is what happened to Roy when I first attempted to record this stage. So... The fact that I failed that stage was beyond my control, there was no decisions I could have possibly made to change the outcome. But now let's start. Let's start right back here, we survived the, survived the initial salvo. And we have one less suit to deal with. And here we go. Let's do this, boom. Get some damage done. Now the sound slows down uh, most walking suits significantly. So it was a nice surprise to see how mobile Keith is in the stage and how mobile Frederick is in the stage. I went with them because they have uh, not just the uh, movement but the long range attacks as well. This is actually the first stage where I don't use Thunder Snow. Ryuji sitting this one out. Giving everyone else here a chance to uh, get some experience and level up. If we survive it. Like, if I fail, if I somehow fail this again, I'm, oh no, we've lost the truck. We've lost the truck. Now we're screwed. I smoke bomb with Frederick, so his accuracy is down for a while. Not good. Just gonna have to keep fighting and hope we can grind this out. 
Give me death. But if I somehow fail this again, I might actually keep the commentary in, skip forward, and actually use Ryuji. I don't know. I don't want to have to rely on Ryuji. It's good to have someone that strong, especially going into the later stages of the game, but... I want everybody here to be able to make kills consistently. Oh boy, now they're coming after Roid. Right, nicely done. But can he survive? Yeah, oh, Frederick, uh, they can't surround him like they did, they can't surround Roy like they did the last time, so that's good. This is a chance to, uh, survive this thing. Boom! More damage. That's what I want to see. And Keith gets a kill. Oh, cool. Dual switch speed. Let's go with speed, because I'm always going to have like a, a burst weapon of some sort on him, so... Speed is a great choice for that weapon, for, for the weapons he's going to be carrying. That'd be nice to see, he's got a speed. I'm trying to remember if he's got his melee ability yet. Like, get an ability for, for the range attack, one for the melee attack, one for, uh... One for his gun. That'll be nice. Nice little mix. And let's see if we can uh, buy ourselves some time here with the flash grenades. Slow down the attack. Because they're all over us. We're being we're being totally blanketed here. Totally blanketed. Who would you use it on? Yeah, this guy's a good choice. He's in the thick of things, he's alarmed. And now he's stunned. So now I'll focus my attacks on all the other guys that's, that are surrounding us here, and boom! Yes, 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 yes. Go, Paul. That's what I want to see. Still under attack, but oh, boom! Blew that guy away. Uh, a tide is turning here. We're starting to uh, start to kill these guys off one by one. It better be worth it because they already took down two of my suits. It sucks. I won't get the uh, full cash bonus for this. Really knows, unless every suit you have in there has an extraordinarily high dodge. Anyways, actually let's do this. Come against the rock. The terrain does come into play, so hopefully um, they, won't, they won't be able to surround me with like three, four guys anymore. And Keith, Keith's been killer, but everyone's been leaving him alone for the most part. It's interesting. Not sure why the AI did that. Let's go here and uh, meet shield, uh, meet shield right. So now no more than one person can attack on the turn. And let's see what Paul could do. Oh, we'll get some damage onto the legs, but not as much as I would have liked. Getting some melee action there, and ouch, Roy's been uh, smoked, so his accuracy, his accuracy is down for a bit. I don't remember if I have access to smoke grenades or not. Even then, I'm not sure if I'd want to use them too much. I like flash because it just eliminates attacks altogether. So flash, I'll keep using. Now, there's another item we haven't been using, it's called the uh, BA Mine. And what you do in one turn, you'll plant it in a, sp in a spot, then you can move away in your next turn, and... Next robot that ends his turn on that spot, next robot that ends his turn on the BA Mine, 
We'll take damage from it. I haven't tried it yet, though. I know that's how it works, but... It seems a little slow to me, and I don't think it's worth the damage. Like, not unless it blows off the part completely whenever somebody steps on it, I don't know. I don't know. There's just the thing with the, uh, with those items. If you have, uh, if you have guide, you can select where it's going, which doesn't make sense to me. Like, why would I want to aim my flash grenade at an arm? Doesn't do anything, so... Just to, like, no guide whenever it comes up, just to, uh... Just to make sure there aren't any shenanigans that result from it. Yeah, and right still affected by the uh, by the smoke, it seems so. On top of not being very IQ to begin with. Well, at least we've got others to uh, to do the cleanup. Nicely done, Keith. Another kill. Keith has been a monster for us today. Nobody, nobody, nobody's, uh, nobody's done bad. Not even Bobby. I mean, he was knocked out in a hurry, but it's not, not from being bad. It's from being, being just plain ganged up on. Uh, okay, no guy. Oh, we still can't hit it. He can't, can't even hit the guy that's unarmed and unmoving. Both the other Waslings are on the effects of the uh, flash grenade. So they're not, there's no chance of them waking up until I attack them. But now's the time to open fire and attack. Oh, not only did he wake up, but he woke up with a double. That bites. So yeah, keep heels up. Just to make sure we don't have any more surprises. And nice. Lost some legs, got some experience from that. And we can... We've got a melee ability now. What do we want? Let's go stun. Because it's strong, especially when it's when you stun someone and it doesn't wear off right away. And this ability can level up too, of course. The more effect, it's more effective at higher levels. We get it to two, three, or four. Keith uses his pop gun, but it's gone. So the so Keith is down to uh, got no more rocket ammo, so he's down to melee attacks only. Most of us are, so we're just gonna be like punching away at this guy for this little while. So we can get rid of him. Oh, there we are. We're right with the cleanup. That's one thing we've always been good with is cleanup. So now we've got another, someone else here to beat up on. Melee attacks here again. Now that guy's awake. Actually, we gotta get Frederick out of there. If Frederick gets attacked again, he could get blown up. I just realized how low his health's gone. And oh boy. Paul also survives by nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts only. But we gotta get those guns off of him. Now! Get ourselves a better shot here. Open fire. Go off an arm. Missed it. Run, Keith. Yes! He's unarmed. He's unarmed. There's nothing more he can do. And we got double. So maybe we can do two, two melee attacks with one thing. I don't know. We'll see. I'm surprised they're not offering a stun. Why aren't they offering a stun? I want stun. Oh well. Anyway, let's just fast forward this beatdown. 
Fast forward to boom, Frederick getting the kill. That's gonna help us melee stats, which are getting there, but they're still surprisingly low for how I've set them up. So boom. Let's get out of this desert ASAP. We don't know if there's any more of those guys. And I usually agree. Let's cross this thing as fast as we can. A very tiny reward, only 3,000. Oh wow! 1125 for each suit. That kill bonus boy makes up for the really crappy mission reward. And it definitely covers our repair costs. So yes, in our next episode we're going to go explore the OC Frontline Base. Moving into the heart of UCS territory. See you later.